These 12,000 cans are empty. There's 21 layers of them, but by the end of the day, they're all gonna be filled with farmery. This can right here is exactly one of them. I have Eric here to show me, he's one of the co-owners of this place, and he's gonna show me how they take an empty can and fill it. Eric, everyone wants to know, how do you seal the top? How do we do it? Oh, well, that's a great question. But uh, the first step of the whole process is, we first gotta move this whole pile of cans into this machine here. Okay. This is an automatic canning machine. The first step is we want to load the pallets of cans in. They'll actually, an elevator will move the cans layer by layer to okay. the top. So what we're seeing now then is the end of a, of a big stack then. Exactly, okay. yeah. Perfect. There's like a little big arm on top that kind of sweeps the cans gently into this trough right here. Okay. When the gravity takes the cans down, lifts them upside down, and we're spraying the can with water to rinse them out. Okay. The next step is they get put back up again, and they get uh, filled with uh, beer at this stage. But first, before they get filled with beer, uh, these first five nozzles fill up the can with uh, CO2. And that pushes out any oxygen that's in the can. Okay, because I was going to say, like, these five nozzles aren't working, but okay, no, they're doing a job. <laughs> CO2, okay. Oh, yeah, if you put your hand underneath it, there, you'll feel a CO2 spray on your hand. I can but, put my hand in there? No, no. Yeah, no, I'm probably not being very safe. <laughs> okay, so then it, it, they fill from the bottom to push out more oxygen. Yeah. Great, okay. yeah. Because you want to get as much oxygen out of that can as possible because oxygen is kind of the enemy of beer. Right, okay, okay. So we want to have no oxygen in there until it's ready to be open. Okay? Exactly. So then how do we seal it then? What's the next step? Well, after the, the next five nozzles fill up the, the can with beer and they get lidded, here's the steamer right here. So okay. what it does is it, the cans get pushed in and there's a little device that spins the can. And you'll see these two little pucks on the other side. They'll actually come in and crimp that lid to the top of the can. Crimping the metal around exactly. the top. Okay, yeah. cool. And once that's done, you're, you're golden. You're good to go. The, the beer, beer is sealed in there now. And you, is it ready to drink? They're almost ready to drink. Okay. Um, what we have is something a little bit extra at our brewery. We have what's called the pasteurizer. Okay. And what the pasteurizer, it the pasteurizer does is it very gently heats up that can to a certain temperature, which will kill off any kind of uh, uh, extra ingredients or whatever in the can okay. of beer, so that may produce any off flavors in the beer. So actually what it does, it extends the shelf life of that beer from six months to about a year. Okay, so this process doesn't really look all that complicated. We figured it out. It's not a quiet process. But are we ready now? Can we drink oh, the beer? Oh, not just yet. What? It's a little bit too hot. This is the beginning of the process. Oh, those are really hot. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. So you'll see how long this whole pasteurizer all is. All that there, yeah. It's, a long, it's like a long bath. It gently heats up to a certain temperature. It's just not boiling, but it's hot enough that it'll kill off anything in the can that okay. might contribute to off flavors in the can. And then what happens is it gets slowly cooled down. Okay. And if we come around on so this end. So as we're getting around here, it'll cool down, and then it's making its way here. This is the final station now. So you see it comes here, the fan blows off any excess water, and here you go. Here's a can of farmery beer ready to drink. Okay, but it's still warm though. It is it's a still... little warm. Yeah. Okay, so by the time it'll get into store, it'll be cool enough to buy and cool enough to enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Stick in the snowbank and then enjoy. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers. For RCTV News, I'm Barney Morin.